Todd has been a Scoutmaster for a zillion years. Hi everyone, we're Brina and Spencer from Sailing with the Litzburgers. Bitch. Yes. Yeah. Out and off watch. Vinegar up again. Tidying up the lines. Previously on Spoon Drifters. After spending five years exploring the U.S. in an RV with our kids, we decided to buy a sailboat and explore the world. Being on a tight budget and having a can-do attitude, we rolled up our sleeves and purchased a hurricane-damaged project boat. Together as a family, we are giving her a new life with an electric motor and synthetic rigging. We can't wait to sail her away. In last week's episode, we remodeled our salon benches, celebrated checking things off our to-do list, and the kids helped us clean up and button up the boat for hurricane season as we prepared to be away for a while. Todd's getting ready to take off to Hawaii, and we're trying to figure out what clothes he should take. We've been doing a lot of research this week, because they're starting in Hawaii, but they're headed for Alaska, and when we watched Ran sailing, she was freezing to death, so we're trying to figure it out. That looks like a lot of things. Well, it is a lot of stuff. Do you need pajamas on the boat? So do you want to sit on this, the stool and get the boost? So tell us about your experience trying to figure out what to take and asking questions. We have found that the very best advice you ever get is on forums. No! I <laughs> Did you know that this is Todd's first passage? It actually will be Todd's first experience on a boat overnight. He has so much to learn. Luckily, I got to do a bunch of that last year, and this is his year to go out and learn things on a boat. Generally, asking questions online is like opening up a box of worms. It's one of the resources that we use is asking people online. Theoretically, you get people who've done it before, and then there's a lot of crap too. So I asked online, and maybe I should have phrased my question a little bit better, but I simply said, hey, I'm sailing as crew on a boat from Hawaii to Alaska. What kind of clothing and gear should I bring? Well, that brings the trolls out of the closet. You have to ask what to wear? If you have to ask that question, I wouldn't want you on my boat. You can't figure that out for yourself. Well, if you do a little research, you could figure it out. Gee, asking people online is the stupidest thing you could come up with. Hey, my thought in my mind was, I'm not trying to ask people what I should wear every day. I'm trying to fill in some gaps or get some good ideas. This video has taken 14 days, 2 hours, and 17 minutes to create 2 minutes of footage because of all our children interrupting us. Anyway, back to the thing. Questions. Uh, one of Andy Shell's shows uh, on the Wind podcast, he was talking about uh, analyzing different boats that have sunk and why they sunk. One of the important things that he discovered was often there was a breakdown in leadership. The crews were afraid to ask questions. You know, the captain was like, this is what needs blah, blah, whatever. And the crew didn't feel like they could ask a question as to why or if or what they should or something along that line and because that didn't get brought up this the boat got in a trouble and sunk so I've always felt like asking questions is a good thing even if it's a silly question to me there are no silly questions so my questions as to what to wear are designed to help fill in some gaps give me some good ideas think things to think about let's take a minute to discuss Todd's background Todd has been a scoutmaster for a zillion years. He takes be prepared very, very carefully. Be prepared. Being prepared is important. Knowing what to be prepared for is, is even more important. First time we left in our RV, 
he found out that we were like 4,000 pounds overweight because we had literally brought everything under the sun with us to be prepared. Had I known what the trip was going to be like, we would be able to whittle it down like we do today in our trailer where we are underweight. Granted, we're from Alaska. We understand layers and all of that kind of stuff, but we didn't have all our gear here. This is where I also get to point out that we're on a budget. I'm like, we need some more help. This help is, me, help me! This is the point where I'm like, yeah, I think we need a second opinion. <laughs> Should we ask the internet? Well, how about if we ask the Litzenbergers? Hey, that's a good idea. They're from Alaska, too. So and they've sailed in Alaska They've sailed in well. Alaska and spent some time there. If you haven't met the Litzenbergers, you're going to love them. So let's go see what they have to say. Hi. Okay, I would see where you want me to be. Hi everyone, we're Brina and Spencer from Sailing with the Litzenbergers on YouTube. Tammy and Todd, T-squared from Spoon Drifters, asked us for our input on what Todd should be wearing on his epic voyage from Hawaii to Alaska. Yeah. I don't know why they asked us. I'm not sure either. <laughs> but we're always willing to give us opinions. <laughs> and we're very, very flattered. So thanks for asking us to do the collab video. Our first collab video. I think that maybe they also asked us because we are budget cruisers. Oh yeah, the broke kids. <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult because he starts in Hawaii, which is like... Luau's. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. Little drinks, no, big drinks of tiny umbrellas. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, he's going to be sailing Alaska, which is, you know. Fending up polar bears, uh, drilling for oil maybe. Riding a moose. Gotta ride a moose. Yeah. Uh, taking a dog mushing team to get the mail. What other ridiculous things do you Building igloos. <laughs> we decided that uh, we think it would be more effective if we just actually went shopping for Todd. And so my understanding is that Spoon Drifters wanted to do this on a tight budget, so they said they're gonna be looking at thrift stores. So we're gonna try to go into Florida's thrift stores and see what we can find Todd. Yeah, we're shopping for Todd. So what are we looking for right now? A Todd dress, wool, something nice and wool. Wool, okay. Yeah, nice. It's adorable. I like that. Oh, this is a good yeah. One, Todd. You're gonna like that. And see how it looks on Todd. Fall in line. Oh yeah. That looks good. So really we want him to have a nice underlayer that he can wear under a like waterproof pants and jacket, right? Yeah, and maybe some heavier, like a heavier sweater or under that or yeah, over sweater. that. Okay. And maybe some off off time wear. Yeah. Well, it's hanging on that sweet pilot house. Yeah. Get Todd and some Amber and Fitch. Yeah. Todd on off watch. Looks comfy. He looks very comfortable. Yeah. Oh there we go. See? Now we're sailing. There. Todd's looking good. Look at this jacket. So this is the exterior is 100% PVC. Oh, now we're talking. So this will work really well. Yeah, I'll stand behind this one with you. Okay, so to recap, we got you a little dock wear. Then we got you some hangout in your own cabin wear. Then we got you this to overlay on top of your prana shirt. And that's wool and wicking, that's nice. Wool and wicking. We got you this party hat. And we got you a PVC waterproof coat. I also got you these pants, just for wear around pants. And they're a deal. Yeah. The only thing we couldn't find is like foul weather pants, because we're in Florida, and boots. Yeah. So, but we did pretty well. I understand they weren't very helpful with our shenanigans, <laughs> and it's nothing that Tammy asked for. Uh, but we uh, I mean, hopefully you glean some information from it, like wool, wicking, don't spend a ton of money, and rain gear. And it's generally not pretty all the time. Yeah. And if you have a pilot house, which I think he does, then it's even better. So. Yeah, bring more underwear than foul weather gear, because it probably change that more. 
Yeah, that's a good, good tip. Just tips all day. Yeah. So thanks, Spoon Rifters, for asking us to do this. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Good luck, Todd. Thanks, Brina and Spencer. Chatting with you really helped. everybody so my beginning adventure is starting for this passage and this is what I'm wearing today I got a fairly thin uh, you can see kind of see through it synthetic shirt on and I'm wearing my shorts and my Sand sandals to get started with and we're gonna fuel up at the fuel dock and head out I'll let you know how the the uh, clothing stuff works out and that awesome first week t-shirts and shorts were my mainstay up again. As it got cooler, I stuck with shorts, but then added a long sleeve layer. About two weeks in, or roughly halfway to Alaska, I broke out long pants as it got colder inside and outside the boat. Sunrise is a little foggy. Alaska cruising. Roughly 1,500 miles into the passage was the coldest it got. Then it started getting warmer each day as we approached Alaska. Except when it was pouring rain and blowing 25 to 30 knots. Todd's first experience on a boat, how epic is that? 27 days and roughly 2,600 miles from Hawaii to Seward, Alaska. Wow. We want to give a big shout out to Saline Litzenbergers. Brina and Spencer spent time chatting on the phone with us, and we really appreciate their help. Stay tuned for future episodes where we show you the ups, downs, and inside out of this passage.